Well, we're about ready to head out into the woods here. Uh, rolled in here yesterday around 3 a.m. Uh, just got a little shed eye and, and pulled the trailer up here, set up camp, and just finishing packing up the pack. So we're gonna head out and see if we can find some elk. Hiked in about a little over two miles from the pickup. Uh, got a little base camp set up. Uh, got about another half mile to where we were sitting last year watching elk up on the hill. So we're gonna go sit up there, see what we can find this evening, and if we see anything, maybe get after. Them. Good day in our book. Uh, had a spike coming within 25 yards. We called in, and uh, and that this evening we made a cold call. Heard uh, about two or three different bulls bugling. So pretty excited to see what tomorrow will bring. Uh, getting pretty dark now, so we're just heading back to camp and get some food and get some good sleep. It's been kind of slow morning so far. Did, just did a few cold call setups, never heard nothing, but uh, up on some lookouts now, kind of watching, see if we see anything bed down for the afternoon that we can maybe sneak in on. So we're just going to kind of mosey our way along this ridge line, stop it every now and then to glass and see if we see anything bed down. set up this evening right 
was really not that far from our tent. We had last night seen a group of elk walk right in the slope spot down here. Walked down this evening. There was a little makeshift blind already built, so we set up in that. Sitting here right at last light, had a small bull come walking by. It's a legal bull though, so kind of watched him a little bit. He snuck down. It was about 55 yards away. Uh, just losing light fast. We kind of rushed, and maybe he would have come closer, but took a shot. He was looking our way, so he dodged the duck the arrow and shot right over and went out and found my arrows. Clean miss, so that's good anyway. We didn't cripple him, so it's kind of cool if you see it in the footage when he runs away. He almost, you might be able to see our tent. He almost ran into it, but we'll see what tomorrow brings. End of day three, made it back to the camper. Uh, we're just recharging the batteries for all the camera equipment. Uh, getting a nice big meal in us. We're gonna head back out to our spike camp in the morning. Uh, a little slower day, only seen two elk, but we're seeing elk, so it's always a good thing. <coughs> so tomorrow we'll get back after it. Well, it's mid morning, day. Uh four I think. We're just uh, heading back into our base uh, spike camp. Uh, do some taking a different route this time to check out some new area and probably sit back up in our little blind this evening where we've seen elk come by every night so should be interesting. day four we just got out to our lookout uh, sure enough we spotted an elk right away it's actually one of the biggest bulls I think we've ever seen out here so we're pretty jacked we're gonna try get a game plan on them wind actually died down now pretty good it's kind of it's a bad thing but let's see if we can sneak around try to sneak right in on him when he's sleeping like how we got our bull last year so wish us luck set up on that elk we seen up on the ridge. Uh, we thought maybe we heard him in the brush, but I think maybe we spooked him, tried pushing in a little too close. Anyway, we sat there for quite a while calling, then we could hear another one beagling down in the, there's a pond down here and kind of some sage flats. We're not sure where he is, but trying to get to a spot where we can take a peek down there, see if we can see him. So we'll check it out.
way back from watching those elk out in that low spot. I'd try to sneak through the elk back towards camp, set up on that little blind deal. I'd sneak through the cows, seeing an elk bull standing out in the sagebrush feeding. So I snuck up a little closer, started calling, came in just about textbook. Then he jumped the string when I shot and turned a little bit. I think we hit him in the shoulder blade. There wasn't a whole lot of blood and we kind of, he was hurting though, but followed him about as far as we could keep following. Now we lost track where he went, but we hear one bugling out there, so we think that's maybe him, but I guess we'll take a little look for him in the morning again, see if we find him. It's been kind of a mixed emotional night. Been one of the most uh, elk we've seen all in one day. Just been bugling all around us, but as he's seen, made a shot on an elk. Uh, felt pretty good, but he flinched kind of at the last second when I shot and turned a little bit, and so I'm not 100% sure on the shot. We kind of tried to sneak in on him. He just looked like he was hurting pretty bad, but we thought maybe we could sneak in and get another arrow on him. Hindsight 2020, probably should just let him be and <coughs> bleed out, but anyway. Probably pushed him a little farther than we should. Anyway, then we let him sit for quite a while and snuck up a little closer. We last seen him and we heard something crashing in the woods not too far away. So tied a ribbon up there marked on the GPS. We're going to go let him lay overnight and go check it right away in the morning. But been a pretty cool day with all. And then there's all night just been elk bugling all around us. Had a spike when we were sitting there. Kind of worried that we last heard that elk had a spike walking right on us. So. Just a day of ups and downs, I guess, so that's the way it goes, so see what we find in the morning. Well, it was a long, sleepless night. Uh, we go see if we can find that bull. We didn't really find any blood, or else we would have went looking for him last night. And the shot, like I said, was pretty. He turned at the last second. I think I hit him in the shoulder blade, but he was could see blood on him. But I don't think he was dripping out that much. So anyway, the only real deal we got, where we think we know where he is, last night we were sneaking up, kind of where we last seen him. We heard some loud crashing in the timber there. Could have been something else. Could have been him. We don't know. So we're gonna go check that area, scour that area for blood, or see if he's laying there. Hopefully, but. Guess we'll see what happens. We found our bull this morning right at the crack of dawn, not even a uh, hundred yards from where we were sitting last night where we thought we heard him crash. We weren't 100% sure what it was. Like I said, we didn't find any blood, no nothing. There's still no blood even around him here. It looks like we actually nicked one of the lungs. There's kind of some lung blood coming out, which I'm surprised he made it this far, but that just goes to show you how tough these animals are. Uh, we let him sit overnight, which looking back on how we found him here, we probably should have come look for him right away, but we didn't want to keep pushing him. We didn't think he was wounded quite that bad. We thought we were just going to have to wait for him to bleed out, but he didn't make it all too far. But <clears throat> So now it's going to be a pretty bust butt day to get all this meat back to the cooler as quick as we can since we had to let him sit overnight. But it got down into the mid-40s, so we're hoping everything's all right. So we're just going to start busting butt, and we got two and a half mile hike uphill back to the pickup, and and take us a couple trips, including our camp, so we better get at her. We just made it back for our second load of meat and the head. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock, and we still got to come back at our camp, so hoping to be on the road to Wyoming by like maybe 2, 3 o'clock, so we can get boogieing.
It's about 7 a.m. I've already put on three miles. <laughs> well, we found our bull this morning, right? Crack of dawn, not even 100 yards from where we were. Right, you're like yelling. You have the mic right here. Panda watch, Dave. <laughs>